हेलो फ्रेंड एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज योर होस्ट खान बाबा आई होप यू विल बी फाइन देयर गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस एंड लॉन्ग लाइफ आई ट्राई टू माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिन आर सो प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर माई वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड एंड फैमिली विच विल हेल्प मी फॉर स्पोर्टिंग and now let's start the today information i was also told that iraq would have no need of using the imf model of baskets of currencies of which an average is calculated as that would drag down the iqd and raise up inferior currencies in other words a fixed rate at least during the reconstruction infrastructure phase This was 13 years ago and time necessitates changes sometimes. It seems nothing is etched in stone these days but of the many things I was told in the presence of a UST agent and a couple other attorneys. Everything they said at that meeting has come true so I'm going to stick with what has been dependable info. I am, however, a little surprised at the flood of info coming forth. I would have thought they would hold their cards a little closer to the vest. With that being said, never rule out the old trick of misdirection. Iraq has a meeting with the WTO according to the calendar on or around the 18th of this month. What is it about? It's talking about their accession process. Whether that's going to happen or not that day I don't know but assuming that it's moving forward it sounds like their accession is going to be imminent. The WTO, you don't have to have value to your currency but it can't have any stains on your currency. What do you mean by that? The Iraq dinar had sanctions on it remember. The United Nations Security Council, they put handcuffs on the dinar. They cannot be used internationally. It was on the OFAX list. You couldn't touch it. It was taboo. It cannot have any sanctions restrictions. It must be fully capable of moving in the international markets. There are supposedly movement of Kurdish leaders in Iraq visiting Baghdad and the rumor is the HCL will be nailed down tight done and the announcement could be today. The Gazette It's been printed but with September 20th date and there's no budget. And no budget schedules in it. Maybe we have to wait for that appeal and the 15 days. So the rate is slowly stabilizing as has now reached 1220 from 1320. The goal is 1121. Folks, this is not too far off. This is all good news. Am I telling you they will RV when it reaches their goal? Of course not but these rates adjustments tell us they cannot hold this back much longer and even with their own criteria something must be done and done soon to bring the dinar to the international investment world and free it up. The news is still concentrating mostly on bringing in foreign investors and they told us today that there was a two part plan and this plan is now completed. The other part of the ongoing news from Iraq is still about the parallel market rate versus the official CBI rate of the dollar. Sala works with this issue daily and he is executing a plan. The plan takes time but Sala says it is working and again tells us soon the parallel will equal the official rate. Television says the electing of new speaker will speed the approval of the oil and gas law. Emo, yes it certainly will. It's very good that's extremely important. It's very good. News because the HCL brings us a new exchange rate. Thank you for watching my video. Take care and goodbye.